The following information comes from the essay titled Climate Change Summary at GuyMcPherson.com. It was last updated August 2nd, 2016. This video summarizes self-reinforcing feedback loops number 9 through number 12 in the essay with a focus on peer-reviewed papers and assessments from national-level governments. Remember, it only takes one feedback loop to ensure the irreversibility of climate change. Number 9. Cracking of glaciers accelerates the presence of increased carbon dioxide, according to a paper in the October 2012 issue of Journal of Physics D, Applied Physics. Number 10. The Beaufort Gyre apparently has reversed course. U.S. National Snow and Data Ice Data Center indicates as much on October in their October 2012 report. Mechanics of this process are explained by the Woods Hole Oceanographic Institution as embedded in the essay. Number 11, exposure to sunlight increases bacterial conversion of exposed soil carbon, thus accelerating thawing of the permafrost, as reported in the February 11, 2013 issue of the Proceedings of the National Academy of Sciences. Subsequent carbon release, quote, could be expected to more than double overall net sea losses from tundra to the atmosphere, end quote, according to the March 2014 issue of Ecology. Arctic permafrost houses about half the carbon stored in Earth's soils, an estimated 1,400 to 1,850 petagrams of it, according to NASA, which is more than twice as much as already exists in the atmosphere. Heat chemistry changes as warming proceeds, which accelerates the process, as reported in the April 7, 2014 issue of Proceedings of the National Academy of Sciences. Feedback loop number 12, the microbes have joined the party too, according to a paper in the February 23, 2013 issue of New Scientist. A subsequent paper in the October 22, 2014 issue of Nature illustrates the key role of a single species of microbe in amplifying climate change.